Mike, of course, a bit of an extended kind of break this week as opposed to usual sort of away games. Of course, coming down on the, the Friday and and pretty much immediately going to, to Wembley for a, a bit of a tour of the facilities. So, I mean, just first off, what was the reasoning in, in kind of getting the boys in and around the place to sort of have a look around before the actual game itself? Um, well, the whole build-up has been uh, unique. Obviously, the season finishing a couple of weeks ago, um, and we've had this uh, prolonged build-up for for one game, which, like I say, is unusual. But it's been it's been good. We've got all our prep done. Um, the idea was to get all of our uh, preparations done. Um, before we got on the bus about the game plan and the detail, make sure that you know everyone's um, switched on and we know exactly what we're doing. And then when we get on the bus, we can relax and we can enjoy the whole experience. We can go to Wembley, get the photos done. I personally haven't been there before, and you know I know the majority of the squad hasn't, so it was just to take it in, absorb the atmosphere, um, get what you need to do. So when we turn up on the day, it will be match focus and process driven. Yeah, and I mean on sort of Wembley itself, obviously the the ground for for players who haven't been there before. Obviously, you just mentioned you haven't been there yourself, but it's quite a sort of imposing kind of arena to to sort of go into the sort of vast size of the place even. But obviously, within the team and within the office, you've got a, a few boys who've played there before. Obviously, Clarky's been there before. Gateshead, Carl Magnier has been there with Gateshead. Louis Story, Aaron Martin have, have both been there with with other teams as well. Have you kind of? lent on, on any of the boys who've been there before in, in terms of maybe helping the lads acclimatise to it a bit? Yeah, um, I mean, we've put on all resources, everything we can do. Um, we've looked at all different areas that we, we can try and affect the boys, um, which we've done, but ultimately, like you say, you can never replicate walking out um, and the occasion itself with the fans there, um, the families there, uh, and the, the, the whole... Um, uh, the heat, the kind of the, the whole day itself. So we're looking, we're looking forward to that. And um, say, so I'm looking forward to watching, watching us play. Um, I feel as though you know the work we've done all season will stand us in good stead. Um, we've had some really good battles with them, and we know how good they, they are. So we've got to focus on what we do, um, and we've got to play with courage. We really have, and that's taken in the occasion as well. So. Say so all uh, all the obstacles and all the questions that have been asked that we've been we've managed to overcome this season, and yeah, it'll be one last time. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned the sort of prolonged build-up to the game, obviously being a, a bit of a abnormal thing, you know, especially towards the back end of the season. We've had a lot of Tuesday, Saturday games, so it's been pretty much straight out the fire and into another one, basically. But with this game, you've had so long almost to, to kind of think about it, and the lads have almost had so long to, to anticipate and think about it and stuff. Does that kind of add to the the pressure and the the expectation perhaps of it when you have that long to sort of dwell on on the game yeah like you say i think you know it's a case by case um basis i think that obviously all lads interpret the process um very differently and i think uh pressure is processed very differently <clears throat> but when the season finished we we spoke to a lot of the lads and uh, the consensus was they want to have a little break um uh, to let the hair down and to have a little blowout, but they wanted to get back to the, to the training field and they wanted to be in as much as possible. So I think that you know says a lot about the group that we've got, a lot about the the energy and the place that we've been training. Um, and you say all the prep has been it's been very professional, but it's been enjoyable. Yeah, and on the the sort of the lads themselves, a bit of a a blow on a, a positive on on two different fronts. Of course, Ethan Parr getting recalled by by Stockport to, to be in the squad for the, the first leg of, of their playoff. But on the, the flip side, Kenton Richardson coming back in, training a bit and, and being involved after being out towards the, the back end of the, the season is is something good for you to, to take into tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, Kenton's, uh, you know, he's had a fantastic season. Um, unfortunately, picked up the injury, like you say, being away with England, but he's, uh, his conditioning is a very high level. He's a very fit lad. Um, and yeah, it's a positive to have him back. Like I say, I think um, football can be brutal sometimes, but Stockport have been good good to us. Um, Ethan obviously won um, a few awards um, and all credit to him. He's been fantastic and he, he's really a great lad. Um, and yeah, they'll be going to Wembley. So like I say, when more, one door shuts, another door opens. And uh, we're just looking forward now to uh, getting there, embracing the occasion and playing our game. 
and, and how much of a, a boost even is it as well that some of the boys who aren't involved in the actual game itself, obviously Tom Allen and Elliot, Elliot Forbes, for example, are, are down and, and around the place and, and going to be at the game tomorrow to, to watch, even obviously Forbes injured and, and Tom Cup tied, obviously haven't played for Spennymoor previously, but that they're still, you know, part of the part of the day and part of the experience as well. Yeah, yeah, really important. Like I say, we've got a real close group. Um, lads choose to to want to be in and around it. They, you know, the, they give up their free time to come and, and be involved and be around it and support the lads. And essentially, regardless of the position we're in, whether you're injured, cup tied, um, in the squad, out the squad, support staff, everybody wants to contribute and do what they can to to facilitate the boys going on the field. Um, and doing everything we can for, for a positive outcome. So, like I say, it just it says a lot about the club um, and a lot about the lads, and uh, it will hold us in good stead. Yeah, and on a, a similar kind of train of thought, of course, Lewis Knight's been been down on the, the Friday and, and, and been obviously at Arsenal kind of training a, a little bit today. Obviously, he hasn't been involved for, for quite a while. Is it it's still a case with him that, that things are still a bit earlier? Is there any chance he could potentially play a role? Um, yeah, he's he's been training. Um, he's uh, he's building it up, and uh, like I say, we've still got to be careful with him. But he, again, um, he hasn't had the minutes on the pitch that he, he would have wanted this season. But he's a he's a real big character around the place, and uh, yeah, he's come down and he'll be in and around it involved. So yeah, like I say, it's, uh, don't know what to, to what extent yet, but he will be. Of course, it's uh, going to be a memorable day for for supporters as well as yourselves. Some of have been there in 2014 for the playoff final to Wembley. Some will be going down for the, the first time, no doubt, but even referring back to the playoff final, it's, it's something everyone always kind of talks about uh, around the place fan-wise as, as being one of their best memories of, of following the club, even though it was a game that the, the team didn't manage to win on the day. But from your point of view as, as players, as management, how good does it feel or, or how important is it that you know, you're able to kind of give people those kind of, of memories to, to keep hold of yeah it's you know it's massive it's uh, essentially it's their club um, we're just in working and doing what we can the best we can whilst we're here but essentially um, yeah we always are hearing the fans talking about it the last occasion obviously it's been a lot made with with Greg uh, being the second captain to lead the team out there which is you know big for him personally um, obviously, Clarkey always been in and around it, you know, um, to lean on his experience. We've even got a photo of the group um, at Wembley in the office, so, you know, that plays its part. But for me, it's, it's just been an incredible season um, and the season of, of uh, ups and downs in terms of the, the injuries and um, the difficult spells we've gone through, it, it says a lot about the lads and about the players, but also um, the, the, the fans deserve a lot of credit for it because we've got a really strong core that always stuck with us and always positive. Um, and like I say, I think for those, those tough times that we've been through when it looked like we were getting relegated and it looked like you know it was an absolute mammoth task um, for us to stay up, um, they still turned up. And, um, and now, yeah, obviously, you know, we, we want as many bums on seats as we can and, and season tickets and things like that because, um, yeah, we want to build that, that, that community base and, and the brand and we want to do everything we can. But really for those, those fans that, you know, do thousands of miles each year um, and in whatever weather and they're, they're always there and they stuck positive through, through the tough times. Um, yeah, like it is, it's really pleasing and hopefully that they can have a genuinely good, good day regardless. But yeah, it'd be nice to top it off with uh, a win. Yeah, and I know you're you're not one to to look forward too much as a, opposed to to staying in the the present. But and I imagine to be fair, it's probably a question that you've been asked before as well. But having the chance to win potentially a second trophy in as many seasons, where would that kind of sit in? I suppose your kind of career as a player. Obviously, you've played all across the levels and and that kind of thing. But I mean, from a fan perspective, especially around. Teams at this level, it's not often that fans get to see their team lift silverware once, let alone have the chance to do it twice and in two seasons as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's hard for me to really articulate because me and Busty, uh, we chat about this a lot and um, generally I'm not trying to downgrade the, um, the occasion and the outcome and winning it because we all want to win. Of course we do. Um, watching some of the boys uh, when we won the league last season was you know, some fantastic memories. 
but really the love and our passion is in, in the process and working every day with these lads. Um, and if we go there and we play with the same identity, the same um, purpose and intensity, and we show courage um, like we have all season, I think that's the win for me and Bust. Um, and we've got every belief and faith in them that if we do that, then um, we'll stack the odds so far in our favour that we can win the game. Um, obviously, come the final whistle, you know, if we have won it, then uh, you know, it might be different. But for me, it's the, the process, the enjoyment about really trying to work with some fantastic lads that are really receptive, really open, really want to um, fight for the cause, fight for the club, fight for the badge, um, and watch them go out and, and really enjoy the process. Um, and if they can get their hands on the, the trophy at the end of it, that's their reward. Um, okay, me and Buster are in it for the day-to-day -day work and, and that's our, our reward.